this video. Oh, nice. Nice cap. On this video, I am going to replace the electric fan clutch with the old dinosaur, the one the 7.3 had. Basically, if it gets hot, it activates. It's not gonna wait for a signal from the oil temperature or the water temperature or the speed that you're traveling in. It'll just kick in if it gets hot. While we're at it, I am also going to replace the, the water pump. And this one actually, as you can tell, has uh, billet aluminum impellers instead of the plastic crap that um, that Ford has. There should be an adapter that you have to order also, so that the that the pump can actually accept the old uh, the old type of. Uh, fan clutch basically so it shouldn't take that long it doesn't seem so complicated just, that's it all right half of the build is done comes with instructions and that's it all right let's get to work Ten millimeter wrench. Fifteen millimeter uh, socket. Okay, now I have better access to the big lug back there. So, with this much space, I have enough for probably a, my big crescent to go in and probably see that little hole, stick some, some rod or something that, um, probably hook it up here so it won't uh, slip while I'm trying to unhook that, unscrew the, the damn uh, clutch. Okay, that nut back there is pretty massive. As you can tell, that's the way I rigged the, the pry bar into the hole. Now I was about to get my biggest crescent, which is like a 15 inch, but even at the widest uh, capability, it's not good enough. So I'm going to monkey wrench and let's see that. I should have enough space to somehow work it in there. Probably through this side, like there's no nothing to get in the way on this side. Through the top, there's these two mounting, more well, the bolts go actually. That might get in the way. Let's see how it goes. It was actually easier to get through it under this, this tab right here and sticking my, my monkey wrench 
in there and just gently going down. You don't want to go all crazy because then you'll smash your fingers. But uh, that was good enough to make it, to break it. And now we'll just spin it to, to make it, to remove it. Okay, since I'm going to uh, the proven mechanical clutch, I am not gonna need this. There's a little tab right there. Push, and this is junk, man. I swear to God, it the water would overheat. Now the oil wasn't bad. Now it was uh, the water was actually overheating because um, I guess the the oil cooler now is doing too good of a job. Uh, I've read up that it actually requires, uh, you know, several things, uh, water temperature, oil engine temperature, the speed you're traveling, whether you're towing or not, and a lot of electrical BS that, you know, I'd be towing, and unlike my 7.3, which, uh, you know, when you're going up a hill, it sounds like a jet engine, you know, you can do, where the fan kicks in, this thing would never do it, never, it would never kick in, so, um, Either the clutch was bad because, according to the reader, it would actually give me that it's going at 3,000 RPM and it, you couldn't hear anything. So I really doubt it. It's probably just electrical crap. Um, so we'll see. Let's see. Let's bolt this on and find out if it works. All right. To, to activate your belt tensioner, just take a half inch right here, push down, and then just clip it to the lock position. That way you can actually uh, take the belt off, no problem. I should actually replace the belt, it looks really worn out. Yeah, definitely. Let's see if the wife will allow that. Remove the cover. You know what? Should have taken the cover off first. These are also a 10 millimeter. These are the plastic impellers. They're all intact, so that's a good sign. And back here, this is all intact. That's also a very important part. Um, it's not all... Um, it hasn't actually corroded or, you know, gone into the engine block. These are half-inch bolts. Remove the fan, inspect it, make sure it's not cracked or busted or and throw it away. I didn't go to the Haynes manual or the the online uh, 6.0 Bible, but it says here that uh, these bolts are 5 16ths so it should be torqued to 15 to 18 foot pounds 
or 20 to 24, I'm going with 22.6, which is what I have set on the torque wrench. Um, because you don't want to strip the the bolts. While we're also measuring stuff, make sure that the pump matches what you ordered, because once you take this safety uh, zip tie off, it is non-refundable. So this one actually says it's 100 millimeters, so 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, awesome, perfect. So it is the correct pump. Now let's get ready to install. It is recommended on the water pump housing to actually scuff it up a bit. I used a grinder with a 40 grit, just lightly go over it so the belt can bite onto something. Okay, now the pump will go this way with the drain uh, freeze plug to the bottom. And the tag actually came off by itself. I didn't even have to mess with it, but as you can tell, it, it is non refundable or non returnable once it's removed. So, like I said, measure the, the back the impellers to make sure they match up make sure to remove the old gasket Freeze plug towards the bottom. I didn't really research it, but I am going with um Ready? I'm not positive it's if it's 32, but I did 32. Hopefully it'll be close enough. The old belt was about to give out, so I just decided to get a new one. I'm glad the wife let me. I was lucky enough to have this uh, pipe wrench that is pretty uh, pretty thin so I could slip it onto the fan clutch and then with this bigger pipe wrench tighten the adapter nut that goes on it so it'll fit the the water pump. Now 
Now this shrub cover should have right here a little plastic that should actually be able should allow me to actually hang it up in there. But as usual, this one's broken. Now I've read also that um, it might send a soft code because we're not going to use this crappy uh, connector anymore to electric fan clutch and it'll all be mechanical now so can't go wrong with old school. Make sure the shroud goes into the tabs at the bottom of your... Also, while you're at it, um, the stock cap doesn't seem, it says it's supposed to hold 16 PSI. They tend to go bad real early, uh, not holding the 16 PSI and therefore making your water boil before it actually gets to cool your engine. Uh, so replace that, it's about five bucks, you know, not that much and it'll it should save your engine from failure. Oh man. Thought I was gonna be cleaner with that bag technique, but I was obviously wrong. These don't click. It says no codes found. Uh, we went for a test run, and uh, as you can tell, the water temperature is 198. Oh man, I can't really see it. And 195 engine oil temperature. It did spike up. The water temperature went up to about 109. The oil temperature probably went up to about, uh, sorry, 209 and 217. It uh, spiked up because I was going up a steep grade, doing 80. I punched it, hauling a very heavy load. But I am very satisfied with these numbers. You know, that was, for the most part, it was around 207, the water temperature and uh about 209 the oil temperature throughout most of the ride except like i said that little section when i was going up a very steep hill punching it doing 80 hauling i don't know close to 15,000 pounds maybe 